G'day everyone, today I've come back over here to Lake Moodamere, known to the local cow community as Lake Moodamere. <laughs> That was kind of a weak hearted introduction folks wasn't it? Could be worse, I could have told you about the ten eyed spider. What do you call a spider with ten eyes? A spider. That's really sad. Anyway, today I've come to Lake Moodamere <laughs> and I've come here to go fishing. I haven't come here to go redfin fishing or yellow belly fishing or carp fishing or catfish fishing. I've just come here to go fishing. Despite all four of those species being in here. Now Lake Moodamere is predominantly a carp fishery. I reckon every 10 or 15 fish caught a carp and then a yellow belly might turn up or a red fin and I have heard of one catfish. Catfish have been stocked in here, yellow belly have been stocked in here, making it a put and take yellow belly fishery. And if I catch a nice size yellow belly today, I'm going to demonstrate the best catch and release technique that you've ever seen for a put and take fishery. I'm going to catch it in Lake Moodamere and I'm going to release it into the esky with a broken neck. Anyway, before I start, I just want to tell you about this awesome fishing app called Fishbrain. A lot of you people watching this video no doubt already follow me on Fishbrain. Fishbrain is one of the most popular fishing apps in the world. In fact, I'd done a Google search the other day. I searched world's most popular fishing app and fish brain came up as number one i also wanted to read that it was it was founded in stockholm in 2010 so in that time in the last eight years it's spread around the world and it's grown in popularity here in australia it's just starting to get a foothold now and it's becoming more and more popular now i'm going to share a picture now of my fish brain account just so that you know what i look like on fish brain Please feel free to follow me, drop me a like, hit me up, say g'day, because it's a fantastic fishing platform. Now, I'm just going to quickly run through why I like fish brain. Rightio, now if I go into my apps and then hit fish brain, you will see here that it opens up to like a news feed, similar to Facebook or Instagram. And you can scroll through your news feed and see what's being caught where. There's a timeline there, you can sit there all day scrolling through and seeing where people have been caught. Good Goobragandra River, a brown trout there. Oh, a heap of dead carp here, caught at Horseshoe Lagoon by Lachlan van der Linden. But anyway, that's my news feed now. If you look up along the top here, you'll see a fish with a crown. That's just a fish brain icon. You'll see a map. If I touch the map, that's an interactive map, and I can zoom anywhere I like and see what's being caught. Let's just say I want to know how Waranga Basin, Waranga Basin fishes. I'll go over here. I'll zoom in on Waranga Basin. Now, see those deep, those colourful lines? I've got fish brain, I've got the premium, I've got the uh, the premium version. The premium version gives me what's called a bathymetric map, and that shows me where these deeper spots are. Those blue contours there are the deeper parts of the lake. So I can zoom in, you can see, I wonder what's being caught here at Waranga Basin in, you know, in this deeper water. Touch the little icon, and we've got a red fin. Oh look, heap of little red fin. How long ago was that? That's a few years ago, that's 2015. Another way, rather than just hitting the individual waypoints or pinpoints, you can zoom in. Now, down the bottom, these icons represent whatever is on the screen. So if I zoom right out there, it's going to represent everything, which is a lot of fish. So if I want to just know what's being caught here, off Harriman's Point at Moringa Basin, I zoom into that bit. Down the bottom left, it says catches. Let's see what's being caught and tagged at that area. We've got redfin, 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 redfin. Oh, looks like someone's uh, left their handbrake on at the boat ramp, I'd imagine. That's not a good look. Ha! But anyway, so that's what fish brain's all about, folks. If you go back another step, back to here at the top here, you've got the map, the lure, you've got the binoculars. You can touch the binoculars, you can find anglers. If you go back into the map, this is probably my favourite part, you can follow locations. I follow Lake Mutamere. If I go over here to... So back to the Waranga Basin, you can see in the middle there that there's a blue picture of a map If I of the, the water. If I touch that, follow water. Yeah, I might follow that. I'm going to follow the Waranga Basin. So from now on, whenever somebody uploads a fish to Fish Brain and says that they caught it at Waranga Basin, I will be I will get a notification. So that's how Fish Brain works. That's a social media designed for fishing. And you can share your information. You can choose public if you're happy to help others out. Or if you're in a quiet little spot that you don't want to share publicly, you can set it to private so that you can zoom in on your own map and you can see what's going on. 
So folks, that's it. That, that's how fish brain works. You can log on, create an account. Feel free to follow me. There's my uh, there's my account right there, Robbie Alexander, or Alexander six seven three nine. You hit me up on Fish Brain. Share your information. It's great fun. Follow me. Now it's time to go fishing. Righty, are you? Time to put the first rod in. You can tell I've decided to come fishing today because it's windy. It's always windy on fishing days. I've actually got a bigger sinker on here than normal, and I've got. I'm using braided line with a bigger sinker than normal. Because it's so windy, the braided line doesn't catch the wind as much. Just makes it a little bit easier to fish in the wind. When I put my second rod in, it's going to be down really, really low for the same reason, just to keep it out of the wind. Oh yeah, here's the other rod going in. Look at that for a tasty bunch of worms. That would make any, uh, any fish in this lake happy, that would. I can't begin to tell you how sick to death I am of this wind. I am just, I've had a gutful to be quite honest. Every single time I go fishing, it's bloody blowing a gale. I've got to have my rods down really low and, and it's just ridiculous every time. Just a calm day would be nice. But anyway, I've got to stop whinging. I should be thankful I'm out the river fishing. I do think that I've got the wrong shirt on. I'm going to go and change my shirt. I've got a, uh, a flannelette shirt in the car without any sleeves. And I think that'll be ideal to sitting here in the shade. Righty, I've got both rods in. I've changed to a sleeveless flannelette shirt. <laughs> I feel like I'm fishing now. I've got my camera ready with the big long lens. Just saw a couple of white-bellied sea eagles flying around over that bit of an island out there a moment ago. They've gone now, but they are beautiful big birds of prey. So what I've done, I've got my camera here at the ready so that if the uh, sea eagle comes past, I might be able to get a shot. Oh, there's a nibble. I'm not sure what it was, but something just nibbled on this rod on the right hand side. Oh, they nibble on the rod on the left hand side there now too. Oh, yeah, 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 take it, take it, take it. He wants it. Oh, is he still there? Is he still there? I was a bit slow. He's gone. That was a nice bite. Hopefully he comes back. I've been sitting here for about 45 minutes and I haven't had a touch. The moment the breeze dies down, both rods get a nibble. He's back. Oh, a nice bite and I missed him. I'll put that straight back out there. That was a, what a nice bite. And this other rod's getting a bit of a bite. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a good bite. Is he still there? He's, I think he's still there. Oh, I've taken the slack. He's not still there. Pugger. Get him some nice bites, but I'm just not uh, having any luck with the hooking up part of the process. <laughs> That's got to be on there, surely. I missed that fish. That was the biggest bite ever and I still missed it. <sighs> Bloody hell. All the worms are still there. <laughs> oh, put it back. Yeah. Yeah. But we should repeat those blood tests What time tonight? Because I'm actually out of town at the moment. Oh, right. I guess when we get back. Uh, probably sometime after dark. Oh. I can come back. If it's urgent, I can come back. I wasn't sure. I sort of thought my foot's still a bit sore, but not as bad as it was yesterday. And it's, um, so I thought, yeah, I'm just going to go out. I'm over near Rutherglen. Oh, right. I've got time to see what time you're back. Oh, Oh, probably eight or nine. But if it's, if you need it done urgently, I can come back. Otherwise, I can do it 
Later, what, what do you think? Like, I don't, I, you're the expert. <laughs> I'll do what I'm... It's, it's, it was better this morning than what it was yesterday, but it hasn't improved anything since then, if that makes sense. That's the same. Yeah, 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 I'm walking on it now. I'm just limping. I'm actually fishing. <laughs> I'm at Lake Moodamere. I'm fishing about probably five metres from my car. <laughs> Yeah, now I can get around. Let's like it started coming a bit better about last night. Righty, hey folks, don't mind me. I've been sitting here for an hour and haven't had a touch. Oh, I've had a, lots of bites, but nothing that's sort of concrete bites that have hooked up. And then the doctor called me because I've been having issues with my foot. And while the doctor was on the phone, I've caught this. Uh, this is a large scaled suburban salmon. <laughs> and I caught him while I was on the phone with the doctor. Sorry, mate, I'm sorry to make you wait, but that's what happens with doctors. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got to go, I've got to go, I'm getting a bite, I'll talk to you later. Uh, right, bye. Uh, He's on there, look at the look at the look at the way the rod's dancing around. Here he goes. He wants it, he wants it. It's gone slack. No, it's pulled tight. He's still there. He's still there. Here he goes. Got him. <laughs> Whoa! He took a run out to the middle, but I don't think he's overly big this fish. Oh the veteran is swimming in towards me. <laughs> Want to know how to catch more fish? Use your phone. Every time I use my phone, I catch another fish. And there we have it. Another swamp trout, little one. Have a look at that big bird in the centre of the screen there. That is a white-bellied sea eagle. Beautiful big bird of prey, a big raptor. They hunt over water, they love to eat small fish. He's sitting over there, the crows above him have been giving him a, giving him a hard time, attacking him and sweeping him, but he couldn't care less. He just gracefully glided into there, landed on that tree. He's loving it. Rightio everyone, that's it for me. I've got to head back early. I was hoping to fish till dark. I was really looking forward to fishing till dark because I think that's a good time to pick up a yellow belly or a catfish or any native fish after the sun sets. But that phone call that I had earlier, that was my GP. That was my doctor. I've done something to my right foot and in the last couple of days I've had an x-ray, an ultrasound and a heap of blood tests. Now he's just asked me if I could go back into the emergency department at the Wang Hospital and have another after hours blood test tonight. He doesn't think it's anything bad, he suspects it might be gout, but he wants to eliminate all the nasty pasties before he gives me a diagnosis. So I can't fish till dark like I was hoping to, but I've still had fun. The couple of hours I've had here have been very relaxing, got a couple of carp. I've photo, I've videoed a white belly seagull, I've watched the wildlife, it's just been fantastic. I'll tell you something about that Wangra at a hospital. Those nurses, they only work every second day. They take it interns. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.